Turkey's authorities unveiled official requirements, without which it will not allow Sweden and Finland to join NATO. Particularly, Turkey calls on the countries to stop supporting the Kurdistan Workers' Party and the Fethullah Gulen movement. Turkey blames both states for their weak attitude towards the Kurdistan Workers' Party, which has been fighting the Turkish state since 1984, first for an independent Kurdish state and then for an autonomous region. Turkey, the US, and the EU recognize the PKK as a terrorist organization. Turkey has the second largest military power in NATO after the US. The president of Turkey is determined to prevent Finland and Sweden from claiming membership in NATO. He said he would not allow terrorist groups to join NATO. Turkish officials demand that Sweden and Finland extradite alleged PKK members to Turkey, end PKK activities in their countries, and lift military export bans imposed in 2019 in response to Ankara's military operations in Syria. Sweden and Finland rejected Turkey's accusations, did not confirm the PKK's recognition as a terrorist organization, and categorically denied any support for them. Although Sweden and Finland are classified as Western countries, they have historically stayed away from NATO as part of a long-standing policy to avoid angering Russia. But the two countries applied for membership, terrified by their giant neighbor's invasion of Ukraine as it tried unsuccessfully to join NATO. The Swedish and Finnish leaders were welcomed by the US president, who strongly supported their bid to join NATO. Biden said that Finland and Sweden are strengthening NATO and offered the full support of the United States. For NATO, a confrontation between Turkey and Sweden and, to a lesser extent, Finland, which Ankara accuses of supporting terrorists, is undesirable at a time when Russia is attacking Ukraine. Diplomats and regional experts believe that Turkey is likely using Sweden as leverage in a broader political campaign in which Erdogan wants to play to his advantage and seek international concessions, mainly by lobbying the United States to unblock a major purchase of fighter jets. The days and weeks to come promise to test the Swedish and Finnish negotiating skills. Experts say Turkey is unlikely to budge in the short term as Erdogan faces elections next year and seems eager to flaunt international influence. However, it is doubtful that Sweden and Finland will comply with Turkey's requests to extradite PKK members, since Sweden, in particular, has long sought to play the role of international guarantor of human rights.